Hi everyone and welcome to WebSys Tip Tutorials. This is Ahmed Fakhr and this tutorial about the final type of React navigation which is drawer navigation. So what is the drawer navigation is? It is simply like a sidebar navigation in the web in the most of times when you open an application you will see a float menu that come from the right side or from the left side with some items like you saw in this picture this is called a drawer navigation so how we apply like this drawer in our applications let's see how we can to do this Hi again, in this example we will discuss the drawer navigation which is options and styling. But before starting, if you haven't seen the previous tutorials about the react navigation library, please stop the video, take a look and come again to this tutorial. Now let's start it. At first we load the react the react native with specific components image style sheet to make a styling button view that wrap our components text component and from react navigation we will import only drawer navigation to fit to this example here we create two classes every class represent a component the first component which is my home screen the second component my notifications screen let's take a look to my home screen component in my home screen component we have a render to render the component and static navigation options which to pass the options to our navigation if you saw the previous tutorials, you are already familiar with navigation options. In navigation options, we have a drawer label, which is home, and a drawer icon, which handle the tint color. And here, we include the image component. Into image component, we have two attributes, source and style attributes into the component called props which is a short of properties now in the prop source we require images chats icon png here we created an images directory and put these two icons this is the first icon which is image png image and notify which is a png image and we load it into the source to tell the image component to take this image from this directory the second prop which hold the styles icon into styles styles here styles it's about a constant that handle the styling in react native if you not know about the style sheet it is like a css styling in the web you can put all your styling into stylesheet.create and after opening the create function you can set all your objects with its values here we use the icon this icon and we specify the width and the height with 24 for width and 24 for height after this we in the render which if you remember to render our components we return the view as a container for our components and here we have a text that hold home page text and pattern which have two props 
the first probe which is about on press listener if you click on the button what happened you will navigate to drawer open as you remember we discussed this in the previous videos again you tell the react navigation to navigate to a screen but here we not navigate to another screen we use a specific word which is drawer open to tell the react navigation to open the drawer and if you go to the documentation you will see this attributes drawer open to open the drawer drawer close to close the drawer drawer toggle to tell the drawer to take the appropriate action so if the drawer on the open action it will close if it on the close action it will open the drawer okay in the title we have a drawer open this is the home screen with the notification we also have a drawer label with notification and drawer icon with an image that load notify icon and also the render to render the component which return the view container and into this container we have a button and another button the first button with handle on press to go back to the previous page so if you click on go back you will go back to the home the first screen and the another button to open the drawer finally we set the home screen and the notification screen to the drawer navigation as we said before the drawer navigation the stack navigation the tab navigation all these types take a component into their screen here we have a home which you hold the screen with the name my home screen in the notifications we hold a notifications into the screen this is the first presses the second presses is about the drawer options here we have four options the first which specifies the drawer position it come from the right or come from the left the initial route name which specify the first screen which here is home here home the drawer background color to specify the color for the background of the drawer drawer width is about the width of drawer and we specify here to be 200 let's test the example react native run android let's open the emulator and refresh this is the example this is the home page as you see here this is the text home page and the button with the title drawer open and when we click on it what happened it will open the drawer from the right side with the two components and the icons home and the icon notifications and the icon the icon here is this image and the label is the home as you see the label is the home and the drawer icon is the image with the width and in notifications the same as you see here this is the drawer options notifications and this is the image and the style now what happen if we click on notifications it will go to the notification 
page which you have is a go back home button go back home button and the drawer open button click on drawer open button as you see it open on the same notifications because we currently on the same screen notifications let's go back to home and open the drawer again here we on the home screen let's change some properties the drawer position we will change it to left and refresh again now it is come from the left let's change the orange to blue and refresh again as you see this is the blue color let's change the initial route name to notifications to see what happened and rr and as you see we here on the notifications page let's reduce this number to 100 and hash the color and refresh again open as you see it will reduce the drawer weight size let's make it 200 again and refresh as you see finally as you see in the end of this series for react navigation it is a simple navigation that you can use and you can specify attributes easily all you need to go to their documentation and you will find the most of examples come from here and I recommend it to read also the API for more options because in this series I will focus only for the essential options but in the real world application you may need a more options to specific styling and, and customization for your application now what's next the next will be about the flat list and the section list and how you can connect them to your ABI I hope this to be helpful to you to start to develop a react native components now if you like this video please like share and leave a comment if you have a question and if you like this video and want to follow this series subscribe to my channel thank you for watching see you next bye